We'll do real porridge podcast. Quick update, then into the vlog. So my name's Sam, the young man in front of you who's getting on a bit. Stephen, my black lab, he'll be 12 next March. We're out vlogging. We do interviews in my car. There's no studio. My studio is my car and the great outdoors. Criminal justice, mental health, and anything else I think might be interest yourself. Born and bred Sheffield lad. First 40 years of my life. 20 odd years in engineering. Last almost 25 years looking after people in care. Private and public sector prisons, forensic units and care homes. Come on Stevie. That's what we're about. Snitches get stitches. If you're a subscriber and you'd like me to do a vlog, ask a question, please email me. This is a subscriber question. Have I ever come across any super grasses? So super grass, don't know where the term came from. Probably one of the police forces. Usually a criminal. Uh, maybe I up in an organization who basically is caught bang to rights. Or maybe, I'm just holding him so he don't go in his pond. Or maybe allowed to continue criminality in order to secure convictions of other criminals. Yeah, probably hated. Grasses and snitches. And I've met a few. I've also met a few lads who were labelled grasses and snitches in a sort of a revenge way. And it made life uncomfortable for him. Somebody breaks into your house. You have a criminal past. They assault you and your partner or something similar. And you report them to the police. You're not a grass or a snitch for me. You see someone committing violence or whatever. You're a witness or you report to the police. You're not a grass or a snitch. Yeah, criminals would like people to believe that anyone who goes to the police and speaks to him is a grass or a snitch because they don't want reporting on, do they? It's not a grass or a snitch for me. We had a lad. I've been thinking about this on the way up here with a lad. I don't know his name. I never knew his name. I'm thinking now, when he came on healthcare, which is the prison wing of Strangeways where I worked, he had an alias on the board. You have a roll board, it's just a board, name, what people are on there for. I'm sure he was a <laughs> Mr. X or something similar. He came to us from police custody. We had him in a very short time, four or five days. He was an absolute dick. He went to reception once. I think it's for a police interview whilst he was on healthcare. People are escorted around the jail. One of the orderlies, the cleaners, the lads we used to employ on healthcare to help us, was taken down with him by a visits officer. Yeah, not a good move. The abuse that came out of the windows, everyone knew who that lad were, Mr. X. Yeah, threats to kill and everything else. Constant abuse. The lad, the orderly who worked on healthcare for a couple of months in the jail, it was pretty rough for him. He got labelled as a grass just the same, which is wrong. The lad, like I said, was a prick. He brought a phone onto the healthcare. Security told us he got one. He tried to put the blame at the cleaners. He hid it. The cleaners were having none of it. They didn't want anything to do with him. Not, not a nice person at all, really. So, thoughts. We had another lad, uh, a good lad, yeah? A lot of these people, you see a different side to them in prison, perhaps a side that others don't see, yeah? You know, they're like you and me, a lot of people, get involved from early childhood with the wrong crowd, maybe come from abuse or trauma backgrounds and fall into criminality. He was assaulted by a lad He's a well-known drug dealer, not, not on the lines of everyone knew him. He dealt big amounts of drugs, hidden behind a legitimate business. Some 
quite well-known criminals, Dale Cregan being one of them, bought the drugs from him. So he assaulted another lad really badly. It was on camera, unprovoked attack, serious assault. The police were all over it. Yes, we're gonna charge him, we've got the evidence and everything else. That lad was ghosted from strange ways. The lad who received a, a life-changing injury, yeah, got no justice. He just fell away, nothing. No case to answer to or anything. Me, I'm thinking he turned grass, that lad, quite definitely. And like I say, he left someone with a life-changing injury. However, respect to that lad, he got over that injury. He's been out of prison a good while now. He's now a family man and he's doing well. So good on him. So yeah, grasses, snitches. Another couple of lads, one who I'm going to interview quite soon, got labeled a grass. Something outside prison, again, you know, you have to make judgments in life, don't you? If someone you knew, his life was at risk, put at risk by a criminal, yeah, a young lady, you had chance to sort of intervene, uh, stop that person being seriously armed or even killed, what would you do? Tough gig. He did what he thought was right. Uh, the young lady wasn't harmed. She was put into protection. He came into prison not long after on a recall, labeled a grass. Dodgy, dodgy position, yeah? It sticks like fucking shit. Don't make him a bad person in my eyes, but like I say, in the criminal underworld, snitches get stitches. You're not liked, you're gonna come to some harm. And finally, we had a lad who's a Salford lad, big hitter. When I say big hitter, he could fight, yeah? If he turned up to a fight, he weren't bringing weapons, knives, guns, or anything else. He were bringing these. I saw him meet on the VP unit, vulnerable prisoner unit, yeah? With all the nonsense, went straight or what are you doing on what are you doing on here, kid? Mr. Samworth. He explained his situation. Someone who he got the better of had labelled him a grass. Someone had done some grassing. It was put at his door. He came into prison. He'd been on a wing. He said I've had four fights already. You know, I was rushed on D-wing. That's just a wing. I was rushed on D-Wing by five lads. A uh, couple of them had weapons. He says, I can handle myself, Mr. Samworth, but I can't fight all the jail. I would see that lad a couple of years later, back on normal location, yeah? Vindicated, things put to right, no longer labeled a grass. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. A uh, couple of walk and talks this week. We one up Sunday and one up the following Sunday. I promise to get out and do more interviews. I do work full time. It's been a hectic six weeks, really. Um, but we're going to get back on it. Thanks for your continued. Thanks for your support as a community. For myself and my guests. If you would like me to vlog something or you've got a question, drop us an email. If you'd like to come on the channel drop us an email god bless you all thanks for coming i'll see there